Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So in the previous sessions, I had covered the part 1, 2, 3 of the basics of CA and FA. Okay, so today I'm here with the part 4 session. So in this, we're going to cover what and all the uh, criteria we need to consider for the uh, appropriate mesh quality and what and all the things we need to consider for mesh quality checks okay and even a few of the uh, output files what and all the things we need to refer for uh, taking out the outputs from the abacus as well as hyper mesh that things we'll see here well let's get started with this your first thing would like to introduce about this degrees of freedom i think i had already explained about this but again to remind you so in short the definition for degrees of freedom is the number of independent ways for a particular element or a component to move in a space let's say if i consider uh, this uh, hexagon in a space so what in all the ways it can go it can translate along xyz right it can rotate along xyz yep the same thing when it comes to this this meshing so we need to check the degrees of freedom for uh, 1d 2d 3d elements so at the moment for 3d elements we have the three degrees of freedom per node okay so why it is because the solids no they will only uh, support for the translation along the xyz not for the rotation when it comes to shell elements they have the six degrees of freedom okay uh the sixth one is quasi in the sense uh, it can be possible or in some cases it might be uh not possible like the for uh, a plate and shell elements okay we can't consider that the rotation along c okay so you could see the complete uh, chart here at the bottom and for uh, line elements we have the all the six degrees of freedom yep in that again when it comes to tr stress sorry truss spring and cap we have the translation only x y z x y l loading conditions okay the truss elements only xl loading it will consider right for beam you already know it is uh xyz translation as well as the rotation beam pin condition or uh, fixed conditions that scenarios you can consider and you can refer that yep and for membrane it is xyz translation for uh, tetrahedral elements solid brick elements we have the three three translation okay and then when it comes to shell and plates we have the five degrees of freedom along z it is star mark in the sense you can see the rotational dof for a plate are based on the uh, local direction one two three instead of the global direction x y z okay rotation about uh, the local axis one and two that is axis in the plane or the element are calculated that you need to refer hmm? so in short solid elements three translation three degrees of freedom shell elements have all the six degrees of freedom when it comes to one d elements for truss it is three translation beam it is all the six okay now the mesh quality and the mesh quality checks the first question arises why it is important to check the mesh quality because the low quality mesh will leads to the low accuracy of the FEM. Okay. So for that we need to mesh our model with standards. So again, which is the main cause of poor mesh quality? Simple question, right? So what exactly happens while meshing is so it's gonna consider the uh, mesh highly irregular forms and the complex geometries if you consider it gonna just mesh according to the algorithm so that time so uh, some uh, aspects ratio and the skewness and jacobian ratios and all everything it should consider so that we need to take into account so 
well meshing these all the things comes into account so in short while meshing so the uh, irregular shapes and inappropriate meshes makes the issues in the meshing okay what are the common uh, errors so first one is the high skewness the deviation okay and then when it comes to uh, the layer boundaries and the coarse meshing and uh, these are the errors in the sense these you can follow let's say high skewness will makes or will leads to the uh, bad mesh quality okay and the coarse mesh also low aspect ratio that is the large aspect ratio will leads to the interpolation errors so i have shown you two tables here when you could see so what and all the criteria we consider so minimum size maximum size of the elements okay the aspect ratio warpage and it comes to warpage you can take the accounting like you already know this so mold flow right plastics if it is there so the shrinkage that kind of warpage we can consider here okay the maximum interior angle for the quad elements and minimum angle and the maximum and minimum angle for triangular elements skewness we have this a uh, jacobian ratio okay and the taper angle so these are the things we can consider so in short you can see the complete description about these things what exactly the size should be according to that we have the criteria the aspect ratio should be less than 5 Warp is should be less than 15. Maximum angle for quad elements is 140. Minimum is 40 degrees. Maximum for trad is 120 degrees. Minimum is 30 degrees. Okay, so these they need to maintain. Skewness should be 40 degrees. Okay, it is maximum. It should be less than that. When it comes to Jacobian ratio, we should maintain 0.5 to 0.6. Okay. Typer also it is same thing 0.6 like this we need to consider the scenarios the brief explanation about these things only the skewness what exactly it is uh, this is the angular measure of an element with respect to the angles of an ideal element so you could see this images right the zero skewness when it moves which angles can able to see these angles okay 30 degrees minimum for Try phase 120 degrees, 40 and 140 degrees for the quad elements. So these we need to consider for the skewness. Okay, so these all the things will come under skewness only. So again, so acceptable range is this much, 0 to 0.5. So we can consider about 0.9 as well. So if it is one, it is not acceptable the ratio. The aspect ratio. Oh, uh, you already know about this. I don't need to explain much. So in general, we're gonna consider aspect ratio four to five, not more than this. Okay, below five is fine. Could you see we have the four taken? You can even consider five to maintain it. So when it comes to Jacobian ratio, could you be able to see the example? So this is the acceptable shape of an a uh, uh, quartz point. Okay, and this is also this is not acceptable. Okay, in my basic part. So the definition could be able to check from the definition like the statement here. So these uh, determinants are calculated at the integral of the glass points. Okay, so these are the things we need to consider. The ratios I had already shown at the back end. We can refer them. Okay, and now. when it comes to twisting so the skewness these are the things so this is the example for like the appropriate machine we can consider okay aspect ratio recommended is 4 for fea and the angles the volume and the skewness recommended is this much okay 0.25 now the uh, output files what and all we can get and from that what and all the results we can expect so this is again the interview question even uh, what were the mesh uh, things i had covered no that also the interview question 
okay they have asked this what in all the mesh checks we gonna do to just check the mesh quality so this question will arise definitely for sure again so to refer the outputs what in all the uh, files we gonna get it from a packers and hypermesh they will ask this okay the first thing is the print output file that is dot that file so from that particular file you want to get the contact echo history model mass properties parameters okay each and every details you're gonna get it here okay whatever the things i have mentioned here again in this output file you're gonna have the def separate things for element outputs and contact outputs as well you can even check this error variables okay if you're looking for next thing so again in that in abacus you want to get this dot odb file for fe safe analysis you can just refer that and you can if even refer for others okay so in this you're gonna have three types of variations like dot sel file dot message file dot status file okay so in dot sel file you're gonna have the uh, results file for abacus explicit that you can refer it so the element output node outputs and energy output can be requested here and this you can import it to other solvers post processes dot message file will be having the details about all the diagnostic messages what exactly issues you're facing and you want to have the uh, detailed explanation for your analysis if it is falling under some uh, convergence issues or some errors or warnings and all when it comes to status file dot sda file it's gonna store all the text file that contains the information about the progress of the analysis for and all happened okay so these are the things you need to remember when it comes to abacus.odb file in that you're gonna have these things well in hypermesh we're gonna have the dot res file and dot k file for uh, crash analysis okay so you can refer these things explanation is already given okay Yep, so that's all about this session. I hope this details or these explanations might help you to uh, deal with the interviews of CE domain in future. Well, that's all guys. Thank you. Stay tuned. Bye everyone.